Hey everybody, it's Pastor Nathan. I'm on location this morning, uh, as you can see, with some water behind me. And I've got a purpose for this today as I bring a word of encouragement. Today I want to talk to us about Jesus and the encounter with the woman at the well. And this woman, as we know, if we've read this story, which I'm sure you know it pretty well, was an outcast from society. She was shunned and she was living really a shameful life. All the men that she had been with and different husbands that she had had, really her life was a mess. But yet Jesus had such a specific encounter for her he goes and in the middle of the day at Jacob's well she's drawing water because she didn't want to be seen or wasn't accepted to be around any other women as they're drawing water at normal times of the day and Jesus sits down so strategically at that time and goes and meets with her he asks her and says please give me some water to drink I don't know if uh, they understood all the molecular biology or all the chemistry that was involved in our bodies and how uh, we're made up. Majority of us is made up of water and we need water to survive. And this woman was drawing water for a physical need, for cooking, cleaning, for the daily tasks that we need, for drinking. But Jesus then says to her, please give me a drink. And she says, well, how can you even associate with me? A Jew talking to me, a Samaritan woman. This is unheard of. I'm a woman. Uh, I have a reputation. Jews and Samaritans just don't talk to each other. But Jesus, in his compassion and his mercy and in his love, comes to do a work in her life that day. And he says to her and speaks life into her, he says, if you only knew the gift of God and who is saying this to you, give me a drink. You would ask him and he would give to you living water. You will never thirst again. And as you see behind me is a, a fountains in town here. And I'm just reminded, and that's why I wanted to come here this morning, that we see this water and it's not just a, a squirt gun. It's not just a one burst but the water is continually flowing. The water flows up and the fountains are refreshed. The same water that's hitting the water is not the same water that's coming up. And uh, we're reminded other places in scripture that it will be like springs of living water coming up in us. And when Jesus is talking about living water, he's speaking so in tune with our need. And maybe you have felt that way. Maybe you have just felt spiritually thirsty. Maybe it's been lately that sometimes routines and patterns and uh, our daily life is still sort of a little upside down. But we need to abide with Christ. We need to know the living water and may it be continually flowing in our life. Not just coming and having a glass of water or just meeting with him once in a while but to have a continual spring flowing up in us, that living water that comes only from him. And so I want to just encourage us and leave us with those thoughts today to abide with him, to get into his word, to speak to him, to pray to him, to worship and find, find areas where our hearts and our minds are just attuned to what he has for us and what he wants for us and how he wants to speak to us. So may we be not like stagnant water, but may we be like the fountains behind me, knowing the wondrous, blowing presence of God in our lives that it just wells up within us. And we truly do have living water that Jesus spoke of. We'll see you guys on Sunday. It's so good to just be able to bring a word of encouragement again. And I pray that you're blessed.